Hello and welcome to changing the value summary in a pivot table data range. Exercise number seven from the Excel Custom Classroom Training Advanced Level Training Manual brought to you by Shift Key Solutions and I am Eric Ripley. In this video tutorial, we'll end up creating a pivot table that looks like this. From our data table from the previous worksheet, we have a list of all our sales class types of fruit in this case. And we wanted to create a pivot table, as we see here, of the change in sales from 2008 to 2009. We'll end up creating one that looks like this. So let's go to our original file. Here we have our worksheet from our Good Foods workbook. And let's just take a look at this real quick. We have our parent class. We have our sales class column. We have our second week in February column, UPC column, item, description, size, and so on, quantity sold, and sales dollars. The fields we'll be working with will be the sales class, second week of February, and sales dollars for this exercise. So. Let's just take a quick look and see how many records we have to work with here. So I'm going to do a shift control arrow key down from A5 and it takes me to the very last record in my row. So if I look here, I see that I have, I'm on row 176. Well, that's not a true count. If I want a true count, I'm going to come over to my status bar here and see that I have 172, 172 records. That's just a quick review. Now with my active cell in my column header here, A4, I'm going to go to my insert tab and then in the tables, cr tables group click the pivot table. This is going to give me my dialog box verifying that this is the range I would like to have and it is and I want it on a new worksheet. So I'm going to click OK and here we go. Now from here I need to build this out. So the first field I'm going to drag down is going to be the sales class down to row labels. And there they are. I'm going to drag the second week February down to the column column labels box. And then from there I'm going to click and drag the sales dollars down to the values box. And there it is. Now from here I need to do a little modification. For this report or pivot table the grand total for rows is unnecessary, so I want to remove those. There's a couple ways of doing it, but the way we're going to do is going to go to our design tab, and then over in the layout group, I'm going to click grand totals, and then choose on for columns only, and that removes it. Column, then it totals only the columns. Now from here, the next step is for us to modify this data so that I can see that the difference here, for example, 2,970 for 2008 and then 3,019 in 2009. Well, to summarize this information and I can see a true percentage growth or the difference between those two years, I want to change this to a percentage. So here in my column C or 2009, I'm going to right click any one of these data fields and then come down to summarize values by. Down here I'm going to click on more options. From here, in my value field settings dialog box, I'm going to click the show values as, and then under the show values as drop down, I'm going to click, scroll down, and choose percent difference, difference from. And then from here, I'm going to click the second week in February, and then I want to cross reference this. I'm in the 2009 column, so I'm going to leave it at 2008 so I can see the differences. Click OK. And there it is. There's the percentage in difference. So I can see that Fresh Fruit Apples Washington grew by 2.23%, whereas the grapefruits declined by nearly a quarter of a percent. So that's the modification. Now to finish this off, I'm going to come to my cell A1 and type in the title, and then I'm going to enter a subtitle here. The title I'm going to enter is Fruit Sales by Sales Class. 
and then the subtitle I'm going to put in second week in February 2009 compared with 2008. When I'm finished with that, I'm going to select these two and bold them. And then I'm going to select A1 through C1 and merge and center it. And then select A2 through C2 and merge and center it. Now I have a nice report that I can take a screenshot of or do a snag it embed it into an email and send it off or for that matter I can send this workbook as it is that's all the time I have for this exercise if you didn't know how to do this beforehand well now you know and I encourage you to share this information with as many people who might need help with it and then also as a reminder don't be shy to use the pause rewind and play buttons here in the YouTube video that way you can stop go forward and see things as they at your own pace. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to comment and we'll see you next time.